Welcome to Coonrod's Corner. My name is John Coonrod. I am a marketing development engineer for Rogers Corporation Advanced Circuit Materials. And I'm going to talk now for the next few minutes about the RO4000 product family. This is a product family that's been uh, in the industry for many years now, been very successful. And uh, what it is, is the RO4000 product family is a thermal set resin system that is a hydrocarbon. It is not PTFE, and it has had some confusion in the past with some PTFE materials. And uh, RO4000 is not PTFE based, which means you have the benefit of easier circuit fabrication. And the circuit fabrication for RO4000 can be similar to that of FR4, which is a more standard material. Now, basically, if you have the ability to make FR4 circuits, you will have the ability to make circuits on RO4000. Of course, you would have to change some parameters, speeds and feeds, and lamination temperatures, what have you. That's just the nature of different materials. But if you can build a circuit on FR4, you can certainly build a circuit on 4000. Now, 4000 is a low loss material. It's used in microwave and millimeter wave frequencies. It's very well controlled for dielectric constant. The uh, thermal conductivity is also higher than average. Most printed circuit board materials have a thermal conductivity around 0 0.2, 0 0.3. The RO4000 materials generally have around 0.6 to 0.8. Uh, and also, the RO4000 is extremely thermally robust, so situations where you need to go to higher temperatures in circuit fabrication and assembly, such as sequential lamination and multiple lead-free soldering, RO4000 is very good for that. Now, uh, let me uh, show you a few products of the RO4000 family. The uh, first one is RO4350B. This is a, a flame retardant system that's been uh, on the market for 10 years plus. Uh, it's been used in a variety of applications, a very large variety of applications. Probably the, the widest usage of this material is power amplifiers, microwave power amplifiers, sometimes very high power amplifiers, and uh, very successful at that. The 4233 materials, uh, that's mostly used in LMB, and even of, uh, as of today, it's still used in LMB in very large volume. The 4725-4730 JXR materials, these are antenna grade materials, and these materials are formulated to be uh, very good for printed circuit board antenna applications and extremely good for uh, PIM, passive intermodulation. And then the 4360G2 material is actually a, a unique material. This material has a high dielectric constant, about 6.15, and most materials that have a high dielectric constant like that are not, uh, well, are PTFE materials, and they're a little more troublesome for circuit fabrication. The RO4360 G2 is not PTFE and much simpler for circuit fabrication. And then finally, the last product I'll talk about real quick is the 4835, and this is the same product as the 4350 that I mentioned earlier. The big difference is the 4835 has been formulated to where it is uh, much better for long-term thermal aging but it still has all the same properties of 4350B. Now, the Rogers 4350B laminate, uh, it is available on, uh, with two different types of coppers, a high profile copper and a low profile copper. There are advantages to either one of those and there's disadvantages to either one. And uh, in the case here, I've shown an insertion loss curve of the 4350B laminates that were 20 mils thick, made into microstrip transmission lines and tested. And I'm showing insertion loss curve. And the insertion loss curve of the red is the standard 4350B with the standard high profile copper. And you can see this is going from about 10 megahertz to 50 gigahertz. And it's got very uh, low insertion loss, even out 30, 40 gigahertz. And then if you need something with a little better insertion loss, that's when you'd switch to the low profile copper, the RO4350B Low Pro. Now, uh, the capabilities of the RO4000 system are, are pretty wide and vast, thankfully. It's uh, been a material that's used for many, many different applications for many reasons. And um, one of them is high layer count. And uh, in the configuration of a printed circuit board, layer counts are usually by copper layers. We've had many applications where the RO4000 are used at 40 layers, copper layers, and even more, which is unusual, but it's uh, very good for that. Also, it is extremely good for thermal robustness, and that is basically it can withstand multiple lamination cycles, sequential lamination cycles, and multiple lead-free soldering. The material also is extremely good for high frequency, and it's used in uh, microwave and millimeter wave range frequencies. Millimeter wave range of frequencies about 30 gigahertz or more. We have several applications in that range, and even some applications as high as 60 gigahertz on this material. If you'd like more information on this material, we would invite you to come to our website, and also I'd like you to uh, look at our technology support hub and join there where you'll find much more information on this material and much more technical information on Rogers materials in general. Thank you.